you guys Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. Today we're going to be talking about episode 17. We're going to be breaking down the new promo for the episode, how it links into another show in the Arrowverse, as well as we got a description about a couple of new episodes as well that we need to break down. So we got a lot of stuff to talk about and discuss and theorize about in this video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the flash is on break. It's not coming back till June 8th. So that means we're just having a one week break. Then we're coming back with episode 17. Again, we don't know when the finale is. We don't know if it's episode 20 or episode 21. However, it's not for a little bit longer. It's probably sometime in June, I believe. So maybe, you know, like we get three more episodes or so after this episode. But this episode is very exciting for many, many reasons. But as I'm sure most of you guys have seen, and I'll leave the link in the description to it. The trailer for this episode sees the return of none other than Eobard Thorne. And so we know Eobard Thorne is returning and we've known this for a while because of set photos. I haven't actually made a video on those set photos because they're a little bit spoilery. I may do it in the next like week or so. I've just held off for a while until we knew or until most of you guys knew that Thorne was coming back. But I'm sure you've seen other people make videos on it. But nevertheless, Thorne is coming back in this episode. You can see on the screen right here, he is behind bars. And he's not locked away in any old, like, prison, no. In fact, he is locked away on none other than Lian Yu. And now, that is just a shot in the trailer that they show. So he's pretty much in the same prison that Slay Wilson was in, in Arrow. And I think this is really exciting, because we haven't had that Arrow link in a while since Diggle showed up in the show, and obviously since Mia showed up in the Armageddon crossover. But the fact that we're going to Lian Yu, I don't know, I'm just so excited about it. Yes, it's technically an Arrow crossover because it's an Arrow creation. However, you know, we're probably not going to see, like, any Arrow characters in this episode. But the fact that they have gone out of their way to be like, okay, where can we put Eobard Thorne? Where is he going to be in prison? And they thought of Lian Yu. I just think that's excellent. And I'm very excited to revisit the island, as I'm sure you guys are. And you probably were really hyped about it. When you saw it in the trailer and so yeah you see like various shots of thorn in the prison he's looking all kind of scuffed up in this kind of like gray uniform and his hands are like all dirty and stuff and you see barry across the bars like on the other side and so he visits him and thorn in the trailer is like what has spooked you so much to make you run out all the way over here to come and see me well if you look at the start of the trailer we have the answers to that and the answer lies in what the guy, one of the scientists, says when Barry shows up. And he says, oh, you saved us, you know, from the fire. And Barry's like, huh? Because he did none of that. And so he's curious, how the hell did I either black out and save all of these people, which is very unlikely, or who the hell is the new speedster in town doing this? Because he hasn't been notified by Wally that he's back or any other speedster like Jay or anyone that they are in town so it's either reverse flash or someone new and so that's why he goes over to reverse flash just to double check on him so he runs over to Lian Yu interrogates him a little bit finds out what's going on and then I think reverse flash is going to kind of plant some ideas in Barry's head as he always does every time they meet and this is definitely going to lead to the return of the reverse flash when he breaks out of prison I don't know if somehow Barry slips up and there is a way for Thorne to actually escape or he finds another way somehow in the next couple of episodes to break out of the NU and return as a new version of Reverse Flash and we'll talk about that later in another video this week. But yeah, so who is this new speedster? Now we know exactly who this new speedster is from behind the scenes photos and I haven't talked about it that much. However, I did one video, and so this new speedster is none other than Mina Darwin from the comics. So, who is Mina? So, in the comics, Mina is a speedster. She was introduced at the same time as Godspeed. She was in the comic book arc when they started Flash Rebirth. And so, in the comics, she is also known as Fast Track. We've seen Fast Track Labs this season, which has been teasing her arrival because maybe she's in charge of the company or something like that. Maybe that's the link to fast track labs or she just like takes a name i guess 
However, in the comics, she works with Barry at first, she's a good speedster, she helps train the other people who have been affected by the lightning storm at the start of Flash Rebirth that has given like a bunch of people powers, but things go sideways as Mina eventually becomes dark, she becomes evil, and she actually faces off against Barry in later issues. And she returns with a completely different costume, and this costume is a black sort of flash costume and you can see it on the photo on the screen right here from Canada Graphs. I'll leave the link in the description below to his blog and also his Twitter so you guys can stay up to date with all the behind the scenes set photos and details from Vancouver from Canada Graphs. So this is the actor, I'm not sure who is actually playing her, uh, like I don't know the actor's name so I apologize to whoever she is. However, it's exciting because she's showing up in the black suit, so does that mean that she's already gone through a kind of similar situation from what she's had in the comics? Like, was she good and then has she turned bad and now she's showing up, is she already bad? Or is she going to be good but they're just going to take that black costume, the normal costume that she uses when she's bad? But obviously the big question that Barry and the team are going to have is, who is this person? Where did they come from? How the hell do they have speedster powers? And are they good or bad? And so we're going to get those answers at least fairly early on in the next couple of episodes. I think definitely people are going to be theorizing, is this version of Mina from another world? And has she already gone through similar things that we just literally talked about? I think it's highly possible that she is from another world and this will be our first kind of crossover with the new multiverse. However, there's always the chance that she could be from the future and she could be related to the timeline changes that we've been experiencing all season, obviously because of Iris number one and her abilities, but then also because of Nora and Barry's mistakes with the timeline and all their time traveling. And we know that Nora and Bart are going to return later in the season in the episodes where Mina is going to be showing up. So there could be some sort of link there. There's always the possibility with this different version of Reverse Flash showing up like a negative Reverse Flash. I'll pop up a photo on the screen right here. Looks very similar to Mina, especially because they both have this black color scheme on their suit. Are they somehow working together? I haven't really delved too much into the spoilers about what they are actually filming behind the scenes, so I don't know the specifics on if, you know, they've been working together behind the scenes and they've been teaming up against Team Flash, or has Mina been teaming up with Team Flash? That is something that I think we should wait to find out about, and this is just an approach that I've been taking more recently in the last year or so, to try and not get spoiled on absolutely anything whilst also getting like a decent chunk of information like who is going to show up and like what different costumes are they wearing and stuff, and also at the same time not spoil you guys entirely because I do think it takes away from the show if we know absolutely everything. But that is pretty much it in regards to what I wanted to talk about. In regards to that but we do have a synopsis for this episode again this episode is coming out on June 8th it's episode 17 of season 8 it's going to be directed by Danielle Panabaker who is returning to direct for you know maybe the second or third time I forgot how many times she's done it now however the synopsis goes like this the flash goes off grid to look for answers about a new matter in town Meanwhile, Allegra pulls out all of the stops at CC Citizen Media to protect a source and a friend, and so that is the synopsis. So, the Flash goes off grid to look for answers about the new meta in town. That means he's going away, he's going to run to Lian Yu, he's going to be figuring out who is this person that saved these scientists from this fire, who is this new speedster. And so, in this synopsis, it doesn't specify a speedster but we know it's a speedster for a fact because we know Mina is going to be showing up so there is some levels of spoilers to what we know however that's why Barry's off grid he's not going to be gone the whole episode like when I first saw the synopsis I thought oh crap like Grant's not going to be in the episode barely however maybe he's in it a bit less but he is going to be meeting Reverse Flash going to be great to have Tom Cavanaugh back and then at the same time in Central City you have Allegra working at CC Citizen Media, returning for the first time in a while to protect a source and a friend. Again, I don't know who that is, but this episode is definitely very interesting and it's titled Keep It Dark. The final thing that I want to go over in this video is 
Another synopsis for the next episode after this. The episode is titled The Man in the Yellow Tie. Very interesting title. It sounds more like a season one type title related to Reverse Flash. And again, Reverse Flash could be returning in this episode. Once again, like the previous episode. But let's go ahead and break this down. So it goes like this. When nothing is what it seems, with a new speedster in town, the Flash gets much more than he bargained for. Meanwhile, Cecile's powers experience a growth spurt, allowing her to aid Team Flash on an entirely different level. This episode is going to be airing the week after, so on June 15th, and it's episode 18 of the season. Again, we are approaching the final couple of episodes, and we don't know specifically if it's 20 or 21 episodes we'll be getting, but it seems this is a pretty big Cecile episode. So not entirely like 100% related to the main story, apart from the Barry stuff. Unless with Cecile getting these new powers, they use it to their own advantage to try and stop whoever the villain is that's going to be coming. Again, the villain is probably Reverse Flash and maybe Mina, depending on if this new speedster is good or bad and turns out to be eventually like she could show up and be good and then she could twist it and go bad and, and work with reverse flash and so i don't know what they specifically mean by the flash gets more than he bargained for does that mean the new speedster is extremely powerful and is he getting more help than he asked for i don't know maybe that's true maybe it is possible that she's already a hero and now she is in our sort of time period or she's on RF, wherever she comes from, from the future, from the multiverse, wherever, she is much better than Barry could have ever hoped for and that kind of follows track with the comics because Mina does turn out to be a very big help for Barry in the comics so I would guess they're going to kind of lay into that a little bit with the storyline but meanwhile we have Cecile's powers which are growing and it turns out she's able to help Team Flash more than she has ever been able to in the past. I'm still not a fan of Cecile. I think really her storyline with her powers is just like the same old, same old every episode. She always, you know, goes into her mind palace. She gets overwhelmed. Her eyes kind of like bulge out when she's, you know, overtaken by all of these emotions by whatever villain is taking over her mind. And then also she's always just like analyzing people's emotions and that's pretty much exactly what she does always so it just seems her powers are going to get a boost and we're going to get a lot of focus on her in this episode which i don't necessarily think is the best thing because like i said not a big fan of her character but that's just me personally let me know what do you guys think about all of this in the comments down below are you excited to return to lian yu are you excited to see reverse flash and the new speedster mina darwin and everything else that we talked about in this video let me know what you think about it all in the comments down below but for now please be sure to leave a like and a comment really helps out if you would do that also subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any future videos and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video but for now thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.